It feels like with every new NVIDIA driver, we're stuck in this dance, taking two steps forward and then, well, maybe one or two steps back. On the positive side, it's bringing some much needed optimizations for big new titles. We're talking optimal gaming experiences for Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2 Enhanced and Grand Theft Auto 5 Enhanced, both of which now fully support DLSS 4. For those of us with GeForce RTX 50 Series and RTX 40 Series cards, that means multi-frame generation and standard DLSS frame generation are ready to go in Grand Theft Auto 5 Enhanced, which is fantastic. They've also finally squashed a couple of persistent bugs, that annoying flicker on the Samsung 57-inch Odyssey Neo G9 when your desktop is idle, which many of us have experienced experienced is now gone. And for laptop users, the issue of dim displays when an external HDR monitor is connected and you're in NVIDIA GPU only mode has also been resolved. These are definitely welcome fixes addressing genuine frustrations. But here's where the other foot drops. Despite the new updates, several significant issues just refuse to go away. Cyberpunk 2077 still crashes in photo mode with path tracing enabled, an infuriating problem that has plagued us for a full six months. It's even worse now with a recent game patch that turns off ray reconstruction in photo mode for 50 series GPUs making screenshots practically impossible in that game. Counter-Strike 2 still has text distortion at lower resolutions, and for content creators, Adobe Premiere Pro continues to freeze during hardware encoding exports on some systems, a really bad issue, forcing some of us to revert to older studio drivers just to get work done. And the list of unresolved issues doesn't stop there. Users are still reporting low frame rates and crashes in Marvel Rivals, problems that began with the 580.88 driver and aren't even mentioned in the new release notes. The NVIDIA apps DLSS replacement for Fortnite hasn't worked since late July, suggesting Epic Games might be blocking such overrides pushing users to less recommended tools. Then there's the ongoing battle with Battlefield 6 crashes, especially on laptops, which many report even after clean driver installations. Adding to the list, the new driver branch has brought back the HDR bug with Shadowplay, making recordings oversaturated, and certain game filters like color vibrance are still broken, resetting sliders every time a game launches. Plus, some of us are still seeing general monitor black screens and flickers even after the Samsung fix. And frustratingly, some RTX 5080 and 5090 laptop GPUs still aren't drawing their full 175 watts. It's clear that while progress is being made, there's still Still a lot of work ahead for NVIDIA to iron out these widespread lingering issues across the board.